Welcome to episode 11 of the Lactor of Podcast, DJ Dub C, Flamoxicillin. We are coming fresh right off of the What Do You Mean By That Podcast. Flim, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, and I forgot that we were going to announce that we were, so I did an <laughs> outfit change. Oh, you did? I, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm still, I'm, still, uh, <laughs> I'm still wearing the same fit. Uh, if you guys do want to check that out, we were on the What Do You Mean By That Podcast as a cl- little collaboration. Uh, they do it live, so if you want to go to the what do you mean by that underscore Twitch catch page. Catch that VOD. Mm-hmm, catch the VOD. It's the latest one right now. Uh, there's two. There's two. Don't be confused. Uh, but we did have to restart the stream, but uh, there's two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a good time, though. Flynn, did you have a good time on your podcast? I did. I had a wonderful time. Um, the, they were obviously very, very uh, experienced podcasters. Absolutely. And they're, what, 50 something episodes in? So we about were that, the, yeah. We were the underdogs going in, and mm-hmm. I learned a lot about their operations and just how loose they operate. And they're cool with their stream dying halfway through. And <laughs> that's no, no big deal to me. I loved it. Absolutely. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And hopefully in the future, we will, uh, we do, we actually, we plan to have them on our pod as well as a full, another collaboration. So we'll make that happen soon. But anyway, uh, Flem, I hope uh, you've been good besides that. I know uh, you were celebrating your mom's birthday. Am I right? I did. Yes, we had a little little shindig on Sunday night. We were originally going to go bowling, but do you know how expensive bowling is out here now, nowadays? It's, nowadays. It, I'd rather not do that. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to pay to be embarrassed at the end when they show the score. So I, I get it. <laughs> I've never been a good bowler, but I have family members who are almost pro. So really, yeah, legit. Wow, nice. Yeah, I, w- yeah. I wish I had that talent. <laughs> yeah. There, there was one time I went bowling and I, uh, I did some crazy move and everybody clapped and I had no idea what I did and I never did it again. But everybody <laughs> clapped for good. me. Everybody clapped for me. I was like, "Cool, I did something cool." <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Roll, roll it between your legs or something? No, I can't. No, I, I did. I, I did some cool thing with the pins. I don't know, but the whole yeah. bowling alley clapped for me. <laughs> I didn't think they were all watching I would, I would me, but assume, they were. I'm guessing you got a strike. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't a strike. I just like. I don't know. I hit pins that I didn't think I would hit or something. I don't know, but it was uh, it was, it was cool. <laughs> one of those one of those victory stories. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. But yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we had a birthday little party uh, for my mom, and it was it went really nice and good. Yeah, but um, good. yeah, and then uh, I know you you were on that podcast two weeks in a row. Yeah, that's I was cool. on there two weeks in a row. Yeah, it's it's like I gotta you know I gotta start charging a fee. You're gonna have me yeah. on there so much. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool, but I know yeah. that. Uh, so how soon kidding, guys. you got you got back from TwitchCon when? I last... got back on last Monday. I was there last Monday, Monday. I... and then you did their podcast the next day, and then I came on their podcast the next day. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, TwitchCon it was a lot of fun. Um, I was there from Thursday to Monday. Uh, it was very eventful. A lot of partying. Uh, a lot of walking around. Very good good time. Uh, I mean, we can get right into it now. I mean, I can start telling the stories. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. I, I, I okay. like I said, I, I've never been. I've watched your vlog. As oh yeah, the vlog's out. Dropped. That's right. Yeah. yeah, as soon as it dropped, I loved it. I, I tried so hard for... to get the vlog out as soon as possible. Like you I was did. like, I was like, you know what? I want to be one of the first to get it out. I'm get, I'm making it happen. <laughs> my my favorite part, and I don't, uh-huh. want you, and this isn't me ragging on you, but it is go a ahead. little bit. Go ahead. I think it's the first night when you're like, I'm gonna go eat dinner, and then you play, I think, approximately two seconds worth of a song <laughs> while you show a sandwich. <laughs> it, was, it was a meatball sub. I ate it yeah. in Italian, please. And I let me tell you, when I say I transcended to wherever you were when you were enjoying that sandwich for those two seconds, <laughs> I would loved every two seconds of it. I'm not gonna lie, it was weird because I was by myself just eating there because I I haven't met with anybody yet. I just got yeah. off the plane. I'm like, all right, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get something to eat. There's a restaurant right across you the street for a meatball sub. It's an Italian place right across the street. So I, I, and I'm Italian, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get me a meatball sub, and um, you know how weird it is just to like film or, oh, yeah. or take pictures of food in front of people when you're by yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, no, I can't do it. I've I done it. Like, yeah, no, I, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, okay, how how do I do this without somebody seeing me real quick? Like, I don't want to be doing it, and then my waiter shows up, or you know what I mean? Like, it's oh, just funny because you did you didn't like market the restaurant. For all I know, like it was just the sub you packed. I couldn't tell. <laughs> It was a good. It was a good sub. It was a good sub. I will say that it's very good. I ate there last time I was in San Diego, so uh, yeah. it's a good spot. 
Um, but anyway, I mean, we could start from the airport. I, I, I know you probably flew out of Philly plenty of times. Yeah, I have. Yeah. This is the first time they ever thought I was a threat. They thought oh. I was a threat. Yeah, I was walking. <laughs> you have a terrorist look about you. So, yes. <laughs> I, I was, I was in line. <laughs> I was in line. And then they pull me to the side. I'm like, all right, what's going on? And then yeah, you're like, oh my god, it's DJ Dub C. We need his autograph. <laughs> oh, hold on, I'm getting to that. So it's not like that, but I'm getting something oh, like god. that. So I um, they pull me to the side, and they uh, they have security come out, and they're like, all right, can you follow us? I'm like, okay. So I'm following them. I'm going like halfway across the airport, like on another side of the airport. And oh, then, they didn't even give you the Segway type thing. You had to walk. I had to walk. Well, I mean, we took an elevator, but other than that, we walked. And then they pulled me to the side. I got patted down. Yeah, they, they nice. yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, they, the guy patting me down was apologizing because he had no idea why he was patting me down, but they said he had to pat me down. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know why he, he's doing he didn't it. know. He, he was like, dude, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this, but and I was like, dude, just do it. Let's just get it over with. Just <laughs> giddy me up. Giddy <laughs> <That was it. laughs> me up. <laughs> so, uh, we, uh, we got that over. Uh, and then the, but before that, the guy that was walking me, like through the airport and like through the elevator and everything, he was asking me about streaming. I'm like, okay, well, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, no. he Wait, didn't. Did... I mean, I, I told him I was going to TwitchCon. He was like, oh, so you're a streamer? And he was asking me like all these like streamer questions. I'm like, dude, I just want to get to my gate. Like, please. <laughs> so you got the uh, Rolf, the TSA agent, in the chat now. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. But no, um. So what? Yeah. So what did you have that was threatening that they were worried about? I, did you? I still, don't, I still don't know to this day. Still don't know. Oh, they don't I, tell you at the end of that. I no, thought they no. would be like they just they just patted me down. I said I said I asked them. I said, "Am I we I'm wearing an insulin pump? Is that why?" They were like, "No." But if it was, that'd be crazy. I'm like, okay. Well, I mean, I'm maybe guess, it's just like a like a random gonna, spot check. I, I guess. Why me? <laughs> I'm just I don't know. <laughs> they probably yeah. thought they're like there was like a kid with like a fake beard trying to get on a airplane <laughs> they were worried that you were I'm, i always fly through philly i've never had that issue but uh yeah that was that was weird but other than that uh it was about a six hour flight when i got on my plane uh it went by pretty fast thankfully did you get, uh, did you get what drink did you get on the flight so i just drink uh soda i just drink diet Pepsi. yeah uh, you know, I, I, every time I fly, I get tomato juice for some reason. Tomato juice? That yeah, a V8 or something. I, I don't oh, know why. That sounds it's, good, It's actually. ingrained in my brain to get it every time I'm on a flight. Well, I mean, that can count as food and a drink, though. So yeah. that actually sounds good. Um, I did watch I watched two movies. I watched uh, The Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling. I don't know if you watched that. He's like a stuntman. I've, I haven't seen it. I've, I've heard of it. And then I watched Challengers with Zendaya. I don't know if you heard of that one she's like a the te tennis movie where tennis she... movie yeah where she yeah. has the thing yeah i watched that one and then i ended up in san diego i got to my hotel and then that's when i ate my food at that restaurant right across the street yeah. <laughs> uh so that was pretty good uh that was more of a chill day and i was still adjusting to you know from east coast to west coast time so i crashed pretty early i didn't want to but you know my body just made that happen oh yeah because uh, yeah what time what time did you get there at night well, I got there in the morning, so oh, I got there. there oh. I got there about twelve. Gotcha. So but, yeah, you're on that. You're on, that on West three, Coast you're time. Three hours ahead, aren't you? Yeah. Normally? Yeah. So West Coast. So on the East Coast, it was three p.m. When I got there at twelve, it was three p.m. Mm. So my body's still adjusting. I mean, I was up. Like I didn't crash as soon as I got there. Like I was out yeah. doing stuff. But I mean, it was more you of said, a chill you know, day. it'll fix this and meatball parm. Meatball sub. Meatball yeah, parm. The, meatball yeah, sub. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'll wake me right up. I had that, and I had a beer. I had uh, some mashed potatoes. <laughs> it was good. Hey, but, but uh, you had mashed potatoes too, Dan? I had mashed potatoes too, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, at my hotel, I found out they were setting up, uh, and I'll get into this later, they were setting up an event for some type of Twitch event thing. Uh, I thought it was some concert, but you could look at it like right outside my window, which yeah, I thought I was pretty cool. Yeah, I saw your um, on that. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, but I mean, I didn't like just stare at out my window and just stare at them. I didn't want them to think I was just some weird guy looking out my window staring at everybody. But uh, I that went... would have been a real boss move. <laughs> I, I uh I actually won a ticket to that event and uh Ludwig, he is a uh he is a streamer. Uh he used to yeah. stream on Twitch. He's on YouTube everybody I mean most people know Ludwig. He was hosting an, a Samsung event. It was so this was host, an event hosted by Samsung 
they were hosting like some type of tournament where streamers would go on like it was like mobile versus pc i won a ticket to that event but i found out it was during twitchcon so i did I, di I didn't end up going it to it because i was like well uh, you know i don't want to miss out on the con and go to this because th that ended up being like an all-day thing so i was like okay but well by the time this is over i'd only have like an hour left at the con and this was on saturday so kind of a I, punk move for them yeah, to do that right be on, to be real <laughs> But I mean, I, I would have went if it wasn't for the timing, but uh, that was Saturday. Yeah. I, I haven't even gotten into Friday yet. So uh, I wake up early. This is Friday morning. I wake up. I get breakfast at a restaurant right under my hotel. It's like right below me, which was very nice for like when I was drinking and stuff. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, I have notes here, by the way, so I'm trying to remember everything. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You better not lie or make up anything. I'll, I'll no. Know. No, so Friday, I'm walking around, I'm meeting different streamers, you know, getting my blog ready. Uh, I met a few streamers that I've met before, and they actually remembered me. Like, uh, I saw I, I gum drop again. She was like, oh, how you been? Uh, Extra Emily. She was like, oh, have we met before? I was like, yeah. A um, few other new streamers I uh, haven't met yet. I met Will Neff. I don't know if you know who Will Neff is. He, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, like Will so you know Will cool Neff, guy. yeah. Very, very cool guy. And uh, I may have him as a listener as our podcast. Oh, oh yeah, yeah I'm sure of it. Uh, I, I'm sure. I'm sure when you went there, they said, "Oh yeah, we're gonna listen to that." I, I know you. I knew you were gonna do that. I knew you were gonna do that. But well, he gave you. He did give you a hot sauce. I saw. He did give me a hot sauce, and yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think I'm gonna try. I'll try it on the pod. I'll try it on the pod. Um, that's so amazing. I, I, I walked up to him and I was like. We were, uh, I was like, hey man, just letting you know, I listen to your podcast. I also have a podcast. And he was like asking me about our podcast. So I was like, yeah, we call ourselves the Lack Thereof uh, podcast. And he was like, oh, that's an amazing name, actually. That's a really good name. And I was like explaining what we do and everything. Oh, nice. and, he, and he was like, uh, he, he kept saying Lack Thereof the whole time. Like he wanted to remember it so he could check us out. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh. It, Will Neff, if you are, it, I don't know if you were just being nice, but if you were, if you do want to check Ronnie, it out, dude, that'd be Ronnie, too. <laughs> buddy, Ronnie, I, I'm gonna have to just tell you this, all right? And I don't want to hurt. Plan, 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 you, you do realize I know that, right? Okay. Just, <laughs> just, just we'll make sure. I'm just saying. But it's also not really out of the realm for the, po for the possibility. For the possibility, yeah, you know. I'm just saying. Will Neff, if you are listening, appreciate you. <laughs> but to be fair, Ronnie, you are the chosen one. We've mentioned this many times. There is uh, there is a slight possibility that if there was something lucky to happen, it would happen to you. So, but no, no, I no, believe me, I'm pretty sure you're just being nice because he met hundreds of people that day. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I mean, uh, he is but, right about our name. We, I think, yeah, I do he, think that we have a really good name. But no, like he gave me a hug and everything. He was like, "Dude, that's sick. Uh, send me some DJ mixes, stuff like that." So. That's cool. We we, yeah. we had a we had a pretty good conversation. Um, was he, he was on Friday. You met him on Friday. I met him on Friday. Uh, I don't. You saw him in my blog. He pretended like I kidnapped him. <laughs> well, that was a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not have Will Neff in my basement. I want to make that clear right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he gave me a hot sauce. Uh, I could, I could do that at like the end of the stream. Why? I mean, stream, oh uh, yeah, the podcast. I, why I, not? It would be really cool to spectate someone else. I have, else a, hot sauce. I, have a, I have a little spoon, and I got the hot sauce right here. So I mean, we could do that at the end. Just remind me, <laughs> please. <laughs> But yeah, that was cool. Um, let's see. Uh, we were talking about Cutie Cinderella on the What Do You Mean by That podcast. She had a, another event at TwitchCon. It was called The Table, where she just like sits around with other guests, and they just eat food. and just It's kind of like their own little podcast thing. I checked out that for a little bit. That was pretty cool. Um, I ran into a few friends that I made through Twitch. So like this was before I met up with like Decky and Emily and everybody. I met uh, other people that I've, uh, friends that I made through Twitch, like um, Porchy, he's a mod for Valkyrie. I met up with him, I hung out with him. Hi Snowy, I met up with her. Uh, okay Void, all, all friends I made through Twitch. Uh, talked to them for a little bit. Uh, I have a little embarrassing story. Uh, so we've talked about Alec after hours before. I Every ran podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Every <laughs> podcast I've so, heard about this fella. <laughs> for... he, he has a twin brother. I oh, ran into no. his twin brother. I thought it was Alec. I said, oh, Alec? <laughs> He's like, oh, no. Because I haven't yeah, met his twin brother yet. No, I, well, I, I just said Alec. Cause, uh, I, I, um, I knew he had a twin brother, but I wasn't sure. So I just walked up to him. I was like, Alec? And he was like, oh, no, I'm Andre. I was like, oh, well, my bad, bro. <laughs> so so uh, that was cool. At least I met his uh, twin brother. But that was pretty embarrassing. But he laughed about it. He wasn't like mad or anything. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, that was cool. Uh, I met Offline TV. 
I mean, I met a few people from Offline TV before, like Sidion and uh, Yvonne, but I met Michael Reeves and uh, Disguised Toast. Uh, yeah. They were pretty funny. Uh, Michael Reeves is always hilarious. I mean, he was telling me to eat crap and die in my vlog. Is <laughs> Yeah, it's um, very genuine. Yeah, very funny guy. I, I love it. I I didn't realize I was taller which, than him, which was very good for me. Oh wow! I'm, I'm finally I'm finally finally taller than somebody. We have <laughs> we finally have someone to to contend with. That's great. <laughs> um, uh, Hassan Piker. Everybody knows pretty much who Hassan is at this point. He mm. hosted an he had an event. I unfortunately didn't get tickets to it, which I wanted to, but um, he was doing some like debate event thing. Uh, I wanted to go to that, but it, I didn't get a ticket, so I just kind of like hung out to the side and checked out what I could. So yeah. you know, that security let me check out. Um, what else that Friday? Are yeah, you it's aware? Pretty, pretty huh? packed. It's a pretty packed like uh, evening, huh? So how yeah. long does that? La- how long does it last? It was. What still, time does it end? It was still seven. Seven p.m. Uh, it was from like ten to seven. Um, are are you aware? Do you ever see like face clan clips of like the new face clan guys? They're like clip farmers. Yeah, here and there. I've seen Renato, Lacey, Jason, all them. Uh, okay, the only thing I really have seen was something recently about someone uh was he like smoking on stream or something and they regretted it? I don't know. That one I don't know. Okay. But Let's see. But I, um, know. I think I know some like, of them. Um so they're 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 known to be clip farmers, and I tried to avoid them as much as possible, so I wouldn't be in any clip farms. That was so hard okay. to explain a clip so, farm then, because maybe I'm confused. What's clip farming? You're pretty much causing like controversy for a clip, or like tr- oh. just trying to be loud, trying to be like noticeable for a clip. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, so it's like everywhere I went, I would just hear Ronaldo and Lacey yelling. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to be in another clip. So I was like, I was like, hang- looking at my phone for a minute. Like I stop, I'm looking at my phone, and I'm next to like some pretzel stand. And uh, of course, I hear them yelling. They're like, make way, make way. And I, I just see them walking by. I'm like, okay, well, there's one clip I'm in. And then I, I ran into them like three other times. So I don't know if I'm in those clips or not. But yeah, I might be in a few face clan. That's claim. cool. That's what, no, I, I tried to avoid that as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm sure. Hey, any exposure is good exposure. I, I, mean, I guess. I mean, they didn't like interact with me, but I'm still like in the background. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make like a presentation of all the like background shots that you're in. <laughs> um, I met. I did meet one of the Face Clan members, uh, Jason the Ween. I met him towards the end of the night. Uh, you can see him in the vlog. He's talking about like clubbing and getting wasted and all that which he's yeah not old, I, he's not old enough know, to drink by the way <laughs> i was gonna say of, of the people that were in the vlog the one that i think that i'm thinking of is the one that's probably yeah. in the uh, phase yeah so uh i met him i found out he was streaming live so i'm mm-hmm. like okay well i i wasn't i mean i kind of expected it but i didn't want to be on stream but it is what it is so i'm like you know what i kind of want to go on his stream i want to see if people were saying st- stuff about me just for the memes they oh, were ro- they were roasting me like crazy, man. Oh, they, oh, man. they 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 called me an unk. They were saying Jason's gonna get all the unk viewers now. Oh, so I I don't is know unk, if you is unk good or bad. I I I think unk, I don't know. Unk is pretty much our age and up now, being like older. Like, like unk, people, like you're a fun uncle. Like we're we're just old. That's what unk means. We're just old. Oh, it's nothing to do with being an uncle. I I don't. We're just old. I, that's how, that's what I get out of it. So yeah, so so I was getting I was okay. getting, I was being called an unk. I was saying, he was saying I was getting all the uh he was gonna get all the unk viewers now because apparently all my viewers are unk, and um and uh they were saying I was a paid actor <laughs> because I was asking him to be in my vlog, uh but uh but no Jason was really cool like he um Jason was cool and I thought it was pretty funny that his chat was saying all that stuff I wasn't like offended or anything I was actually oh, laughing. yeah it's yeah. all surface level it, it, yeah it was all good and I mean they're all it's the younger the new generation of Twitch viewers so you kind of expect it yeah um, all all nice so the con was pretty much over at that point I went back to the hotel I ate sushi at a restaurant uh yeah, yeah. thanks good. for not getting any video of that or anything that I'm, was I'm, cool I'm, I'm sorry it was I, cool it was cool was to at, not know what look, you had for dinner I was, I was really hoping to see some like su- sushi you were like just had some sushi it was delicious 
I was I was at the I was at the sushi bar, so it was kind of weird, like being at the bar and doing it. <laughs> um, I bet yeah, you know you say that, but I bet you're in, you're in California at TwitchCon. I bet it was everywhere. A lot of people are doing it, yeah, yeah, like live streaming and stuff. You're not wrong. But I get but I get you don't want to be it, like it though. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was still weird. But yeah, that was uh that was the first day of the con. Uh, after that, you know, I went to a Senpai Squad event. So Senpai Squad, it's kind of like it's kind of like a nerdy EDM cosplay type event type thing where you just mm. go a uh, bunch of nerds whatever we party we went to the house of blues out there it was a really good event i met up with decky emily and a bunch of other friends uh i mean you got you guys can see that in the blog too yeah. i didn't i didn't like really drink that night because obviously i still had the other days at a con and i knew saturday would be a big Don't day spoil it yeah. yeah yeah so i didn't drink too crazy that but it was still a good time um they they were lit. I mean, you could tell from the vlog everybody else is lit. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the room. It was just really bright and like lasers yeah. and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah. Stuff I've only seen in movies. <laughs> but no, it was a, it was a good time. Uh, we we were there for a while, and then I we bar hopped after that. Yeah, we just did a bunch of bar hopping. Um. So that's that's that covers Friday. Saturday, I wake up. Same thing. I get breakfast downstairs. I uh I head over to the con. This is when I met Valkyrie. So she was the first person I met because I I saw a tweet. She was like, "Okay, I'm gonna be at this booth around 11 p.m." I'm like, "Okay, cool. I'm not doing anything right now." So you know, I'm waiting around the co- I'm waiting ar- I'm waiting around at that booth. Uh, her and Kay Katamina show up. Um, I'm like third person to talk to her and everything. Oh she wow, did- you're. So I met I met I met Ray before, obviously. Uh. She remembered after the fact, after she already did, like, in the video, she's like, oh, it's our first time meeting, but we, uh, she remembered yeah. after the fact that we met after that, because, you know, so many people. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, I talked to she her. She told her that you she's been on your island. <laughs> we, oh, hold on, I'm, I'll get to that. I'll get to that, because okay. that, that, that's, sun, that's on Sunday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> so, um, I talked to her, obviously, she, like, she has the biggest crowd in the whole place, so, you know, I, I couldn't stick around too long yeah. uh i talk to her um she does my blog i hug her blah 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 i walk uh i walk away uh i meet i meet it's timmy who's like crazy at apex and valorant and yeah. all those shooter type games timmy was uh he was super chill um i i walked up to him and i was like dude i i know if i'm shaking your hand right now i hope it's like space jam and i absorb your powers and i just get like goaded at like apex and everything <laughs> now he, he was laughing uh so timmy was pretty cool and then I went back, you know, towards like the Vacare area to meet Kay Katamina because I knew by that time it, I probably could have like got a bigger chance to hurry up and meet her. So I, mm-hmm. I met her. I talked to her. Uh, what else happened? So I met and then after her, I met up with a few other streamers. Talked to them. And then I went to Name Your Price, which I also did in Vegas. Uh, it's a game show that's hosted by Austin Show. And yeah, Will like I've seen it. I like yeah. it. I like so, the I like the energy. Yeah. So anybody that knows name your price, it's uh they do like different types of uh I guess segments where you gotta like pay the price of something or they'll Without bring like going people. over, right? It's, yeah. It's it's like yeah. the price is right. Literally, yeah. it's 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 just like the price is right and you just gotta get the closest price it is, uh the closest price to it. So that was pretty cool. Um and then I was I was actually front row for that. I don't know how I got front row, but it was like it was like the section, it was like handicapped people and then it was front row. So I was I was buying you know the handicap section, and then uh, once the show ended, I uh, I actually got to meet Austin Show because he was like hanging off backstage. I didn't ask him to get my blog because you know he was surrounded by people, so I didn't yeah. want to bother him with that. But I I did get a picture with him. Uh, he was super chill. Uh, cool. what else? So after that, the Saturday was pretty much over, and then I went to the block party. That's when I drank. I was so they give you a wristband. And it's it's three free hard drinks that you can have on your wrist. So they take a number away, and that's one hard drink. Second number, that's another hard drink. Third, that's your last hard drink. Hard drink like, meaning just any alcohol? Just like like vodka, stuff like that, mixed drinks, stuff like that. But the beer and wine was unlimited and free as much as you want. And the food. Yeah, so you could... I had a crazy amount of beers, dude. I was like, yeah, so I was... I was. Okay, I, might, I might like TwitchCon. 
you or, do, what, what is this? So <laughs> It was a block party right at Gaslamp. So Gaslamp is like, it's like 24-7. They just give out free alcohol like that? For, at the block party, yeah. It was free and unlimited, dude. Like, free, unlimited beer, wine, and food. And the food was, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to an old spaghetti factory, but uh, it's Italian food. I, yeah. It was it was like meatballs and macaroni, all that, all we had pasta. Many meatballs that we had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Italian, man. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I got... Wasted to the point, not like wasted, but I got like, okay, I got kind of wasted to the point where I wanted to do drunk karaoke because they were doing karaoke on a stage. I was like, I kind of want to do this. I kind of, so, and none I did, of this was captured on the vlog. I did, okay, I did not do it. I did not do it, but I wanted to because this is when I met up with Alex Crew. I met up with Alex Crew at the block party, and that's when we just kept drinking and drinking. But I kept buying that stage. I was like, I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to bust into some Marvin Gaye sexual healing. I had sexual so, healing on my mind. How did how did that? First of all, I would love to see that. that would be, <laughs> you know, maybe we can do that on the podcast. That would be good. To I, I know that with. song word for word. <laughs> <laughs> I would stop while you're ahead, Ronnie. <laughs> um, so how does that work with this? So are there lines for the alcohol, or is someone just throwing beers in the so, crowd? You do got to wait in line, but um, okay. but, but uh, I mean, it goes by pretty fast because it's free. So it's not yeah. like you got to pay or anything. They just hand it to you. I mean, unless you're getting a mixed drink, then obviously they got to mix it, make it, and yeah. wait a minute. But if you're just getting a beer, it's just like, here you go. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I had a lot of Coronas that night. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I uh, I got pretty good at the, pretty drunk at the block party. And then we kind of like bar hopped, club hopped a little bit. I went with Alex's crew. Uh, we went to some place. And then Later on in the night, Emily, Emily and her crew texted me. They're like, "Hey, we're at, uh, we're at the Onyx. You want to meet up with us?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." That was literally the club next to us. So I met up with yeah. Emily and their crew. I uh, I hung out with them for a bit, and then they wanted to go to some house party. I was like, "Guys, I I can't I can't do another party. I gotta I gotta I gotta go back to my hotel. I'm I'm, I'm tapping out." So I went back to my hotel while they went to some house party, which I heard was pretty cool, but uh. This was it P Diddy's house? Was <laughs> no, 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 no. It was at some mansion, though, from what I understand. So, I mean, it was a pretty nice place. Um, but no, I, I did, the main reason I didn't go is because I still had the con Sunday. Um, so yeah, I, I Saturday that was pretty much it. I crashed. I went there. Sunday was the last night of the con. Day of the con. Wake up. Same thing. Uh, I'm feeling the beers a little bit from the morning, so it did take me a minute to get up. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, but I still, I, I was still good timing. I uh I got up. I ate breakfast. That made me feel a million times better, because you know I got you know I got like a soda. I got a water. I got some eggs. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and by the rate, I, by this rate, I thought you were gonna say you ate some meatballs for breakfast. So I, I, I don't uh, know. So, um, yeah, I ate breakfast, and then Sunday of the con, uh, I had a meet and greet for Tina Kitten, who was a friend of uh you know Valkyrie and everybody. Um, so. Va- Valkyrie ended up being there. So I'm waiting in line. Uh, <laughs> um, of course she was. It's so serendipitous. <laughs> um, uh, but no, this gets, this gets what cool. Are the so. odds? What are the odds? You're idol everywhere you go. They, she just shows up. Weird. <laughs> so I'm waiting in line. And what's funny is the dude, you know, like how line, like, uh, line always has like somebody and they're like, okay, you got this amount of time to talk to them, blah, blah, blah. The guy, come, the guy looks at me. He's like, hey, man, if you don't mind, can you keep it under 30 seconds? I'm like, yeah man, yeah, man, I got you. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting to this. He's like, if you don't mind, keep it under like 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds to a minute, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, man, I got you. So I talk to Tina Kit and I'm, uh, you know, I take a picture, I say hi and all that good stuff. I end up talking to Valkyrie for like five minutes. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> did they allow that? What? What? It, hey, look, it, it just happened. I, I, I don't, it, I mean, she was asking me stuff too. So, so um, we were talking about like the OG days of like when, you know, back in her day, you know, being a smaller streamer and stuff. And we were talking about, like, uh, how I played, like, Animal Crossing with her, blah, blah, blah. Um, Did she remember that? That yes, adventure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so we uh, we were talking about that. Um, she actually, she also, she asked me an opinion on something I don't know if I can talk about. I mean, I could probably talk about it later if she says something about it. But she asked me a, my opinion on something that she's been thinking about for a while. She's, well, she said, you know, since you've been in the community community for a long time can i get your opinion on something I was like yeah yeah i got you and we talked about that for a minute i just don't want to say anything because i don't know oh that's fine um 
So we talked about that for a minute. And then I, I was telling her, I was like, hey, you know, I was hanging out with uh, Porchy, one of, your, uh, one of her mods. I was, I was like, I, I hung out with Porchy over the weekend. She was like, oh, really? And then I, I was talking about, yeah, and I also, uh, I, uh, I have a podcast. I, was interv- I actually uh, interviewed Diane recently. And she was like, oh, really? How's Diane been? And we were talking about that. I was like, and I was like, you know, right? You're, you're out there hustling. You're trying on, to get them. I was like, you know, you know, Ray. I mean, maybe potentially sometime in the future, you know, maybe if you want to come on the pod. She was like, yeah, I'll do it. She was like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'll do it. I was like, no, oh. no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so Bonnie, listen, gotta, gotta quit with this. <laughs> so, so we, 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 we were talking about that, and we were talking about how we can like set it up and everything like through Discord and. Uh, we were talking about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe someday. Hopefully, possibly. I have that the connection. Be, I have the. I, I I have the. I have the connections. So who knows? Maybe one day, possibly, it could happen. That's what we were talking about on the. Uh, I, what do you mean I, by that podcast? I don't I know. Had, if you could... I had an inkling. I I didn't know if that was the truth or not. But uh, but uh, that's yeah, it. that's that's where it was going. <laughs> but yeah, we talked about that for a bit. So who knows? Maybe maybe we can make that happen, <laughs> which would be really cool. Yeah, really that cool. is cool, but you yeah. know, I, I do worry. Again, for, again I hold on. Again, again, she could have just been being nice, which I, I, just, I, I, I took that to consideration. I, just I was don't like, want anyone's heart to break. That's all. Just don't want no hearts break. Again, Flynn, do you think I don't know that, dude? I, I'm just. I don't know. It, I'm, like I'm I said, ne- you're the chosen. I'm, you're, I'm, ne- been I'm on, networking, brother. I, you've been I, on Nickelodeon. I, you've been I, on Nickelodeon. I, you've been, that, you know, you went to the red carpet. It's possible. You know how hard it is to reach that girl. <laughs> yeah, you have to wait every year. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no. Um, but I mean, I mean, I do have the connection store if I if I do want to set that up. So That's I mean, cool. we'll see. Um, so like I said, maybe maybe someday in the future, uh, maybe maybe we can make it happen. Um, what else? What else? What else? So after that, I I met up with a few other streamers. I met Blau. He's another he's another type one diabetic. So we talked we talked about diabetes for a minute. Uh, we were talking about how we can't get, like, gain weight and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we were talking about that. He was asking me, like, what kind of pump I have, and we were... It was a good conversation. Uh, he's in my blog, if you guys want to check that out. Uh, Saikuno. Uh, a lot of people know who Saikuno is. Uh, very shy quizzed, guy. Aren't you? Huh? Aren't you quizzed on him? He quizzed me. I was expecting him to be, like, super shy, because he's, ve- he's actually a very super shy to himself kind of guy. But he ended up quizzing me, put me on the spot... And I can defend myself, okay? So, the, the first question I got wrong, he asked me three questions. He was like, I'm gonna ask you three questions. If you get these wrong, I know you're a fake fan. I'm like, oh boy, well, okay, well, if I fail at this, this is not going in the blog. I'm delaying you know that now. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he asked me the first question. He said, the first game that I ever streamed, I'm like, okay, I can get this. It's funny, because, you know, I was watching it, and, like, I'd never seen... I, I, I know who Sakuno is. But uh-huh. my first guess in my brain was League of Legends. And I don't know how you... But hold on, I knew it was League, okay? I knew it was League, but oh, why I... Like, hold on, hold on. Why Why I said Minecraft was because the first time I ever heard of Saikuno, I was watching a stream, a collaboration stream with all the different streamers. I was watching Ray stream. This is where I got introduced to Saikuno. They were playing Minecraft together. So that's Ooh. what came in my mind right away. It was like, okay, this is how I heard of Saikuno. So I said Minecraft. And then, yeah. no, and then when he said League of Legends, I was like, oh my god, you're right. You're right, my bad. And then, um, and then he asked... The second question was, what's the name of his GTA RP character? I said, you know. But I guess I said it low to where he couldn't, like, really understand me. So he's, you know. It's like, yeah, you know. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. So uh, I got that one right. And then the last one was a trick question. He was like, who's his best friend in Among Us? Which literally could be anybody. Could have been Bakuray, Disguise, right. Corpse. So I just I shot it out there because I was wearing Bakuray merch. I was like, Ray. And he was like, you got it. Quick question. He was like, you passed. I was like, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so uh that was pretty cool i didn't fail his qu- i didn't fail his uh i didn't fail his test because i actually watched like one of his streams after which kind of was kind of like lurking in the background and he was saying how like so many people failed and he, he was like so mad and i was like oh my god thank god i wasn't one of them <laughs> like um next time you run into valkyrie you should have you should do a quiz on you i could pass ask her, yeah yeah I'm sure. <laughs> i know i know some valkyrie lore but <laughs> um and then let's see. I met a few other streamers. I met Fan Fan. I don't. Uh, if anybody knows Fan Fan, she's very. She does not care what she says. She'll say the most out of crazy stuff. Uh, <laughs> she was pretty funny. We had a good conversation. She did my vlog. She was saying pretty some pretty funny stuff. She was like, 
Yeah, I love all the races. Uh, I would never yeah, date. A, uh, that, yeah. I would never date a kid, but I'll date all the adults I want. <laughs> uh, super funny. Uh, I ran in the Summit One G in the Artist Alley. That I was did. that was super cool because you know I'm a I'm a Summit One G fan. I've watched Summit One G for years. I was not expecting to run into him. And what's funny you is like, different. okay, so what's funny is if I had my beard like shaved down and I'm wearing my hat right now, people say yeah. I kind of look, I kind of resemble Summit. So we, I, I met up with met up with him. He was like, "Dude, I felt like I was looking in a mirror." I was like, "Bro, <laughs> I get told that all the time." So uh, it was cool. Like he did my vlog. We took a picture and everything. Uh, super, super chill, dude. Summit's really nice. Um, yeah, I like him. Yeah. Um, he was the last person I met at the con, and then the con pretty much ended. Uh, I kind of just chilled that night for the rest. of... Uh, that was kind of like my chill. You know, gotta wait for the airport type of thing so i kind of just chilled for the rest of the night didn't really meet up with anybody so i just went to like a i walked gas lamp i i went to a bar got like a burger just like kind of hung out um and then just kind of hung out to the, at the hotel till it was time to leave and then i went home that, and that was nice. uh that was twitchcon that was twitchcon and pretty eventful so on a scale of one to ten how 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 do you rate how do you rate this i'd say it's my favorite year so far so i i Oh, it's uh, your favorite year. My favorite year so far, yeah. Dang. Yeah, yeah so I, I'll give it a 10. Why not? I'll give it a 10. Why not? You know, the, who's, yeah. who's even counting? <laughs> might, might as well. Give every um, year a 10. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess at this point, I mean, we can get into the TwitchCon drama that was happening. I don't know if you heard about any of the TwitchCon drama. No, I haven't. I, I, so tell you, me. So you haven't heard about, like, all the kick streamers that were there and trying to call stuff? Or? No, I haven't heard anything. I was kind so, of off okay. the grid. So, kick streamers were going. Right. And I so, always hear that kick streamers are known for their diplomacy mm -hmm. and just how kind they can be. <laughs> um, well, I mean, they were, they were pretty kind if you want to put that. Oh, I saw Sneeko there, by the way. I mean, he's on Rumble, but I did walk by oh, Sneeko. Yeah, I, 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 made, I, I, I made eye, con I, I made eye, con eye contact with the guy. Uh, that was. Do you, uh, so, do you feel misogynistic now? I don't. I don't know. How After you made eye contact, I made, I made eye contact with Nico. Do, we do, do you we like were the walking. Netflix movie Cuties now? <laughs> <laughs> After you made eye contact, are you now into uh, children <laughs> uh, doing <laughs> dances? Uh, just, uh, just to say, you, my my life didn't change. I'm I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> do you want to threaten uh, Moist Critical now? <laughs> <laughs> but no. That that was kind of weird that I just randomly walked by Sneeko, though. Um, there was a few other kick streamers there that you know I didn't see that are bigger. Um, but there was one specific. I don't, I don't really want to say his name to give him like the clout that he I know he wants. But there was a there was a kick streamer. I'll just that say way. his name. I'll, I'll say his name. I, I what was his name? Uh, Aiden Ross. DBR six six six. His name's DBR six six six. Yeah, he uh he went around harassing different streamers. Like he he asked XQC, saying that he wanted to pleasure him. Uh, he sexually assaulted uh NMP lol from OTK. He li he licked his nipple. Uh yeah. Uh he kissed Wake's even, hand. How does that happen? He just attacked. He he went for a kiss on his forehead and then he bent down and. Started licking his nipple, like biting his nipple, okay. and then he, and then MP law uh, and MP law he backed away very uncomfortably, which I would be too. So I 100 percent get that. And then later on, the same guy harassed Extra Emily, who was also an OTK. If you guys know who Extra Emily is, super Ooh. sweet person. She remembered who I was, which was surprising to me. Um, she got harassed, and then. What, so what's their goal? So is it, their goal is they're they're live streaming them doing this, and they think yes. it's that's yeah. funny. Yeah, pretty much trying to you know tr trying to get their six minutes of fame and get their clips in and all that. Uh, it's sad, but it probably worked out for them. You know, so, somebody pushed a Twitch streamer in, in front. Of, so there's a train that uh, you got to wait for right next to the con. There's like a little mini train that you got to wait for. Oh really? Yeah. Somebody, uh, somebody pushed the Twitch streamer in front of the train. But I mean, the tw the Twitch streamer is okay. I don't know that full story, but I do know somebody got pushed in front of the train. Uh, and then there was a fight between a Twitch streamer and another Twitch streamer, Erob. 
uh Erod, he's from like uh you know he's a friend of OTK and everything. Mm. Um I guess the guy was trying to start some stuff about like saying like uh he cheats on his wife and uh he's not like very loyal to his uh family and stuff like that and so they just got into some big fight in gas lamp. But yeah, that wow. was a um there was a lot of uh kick streamer drama going yeah, on. You hit, <laughs> like you hit every possible thing on the bingo card. There's fight, <laughs> there's people in front of trains, there's yeah. nipple licking, there's everything you could think of. Thankfully I didn't see any of it like for myself. Like I didn't No, like... no, don't be thank you should have. That was <laughs> you should have been like the movie Nightcrawler. You should have been on the ground walking up and get capturing this stuff. <laughs> uh but uh, um but yeah, I mean it was Pretty, uh, I mean, kick streamers, they tried to ruin the con, but, I mean, for people like me, uh, I still enjoyed the con very much, because, uh, you know, I, I go there to, like, uh, hang out with friends, you know, meet yeah. streamers that I watch for a long time, so that's why I go, uh, and then, obviously, party with, like, everybody, but uh, it was still, overall, a, gr- a great time. Um, I definitely want to do it again next year. I'm, it's going to be in San Diego for, like, the next eight years, I think, so I'll, 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 I'm going to do my best to be there every year. That's nice. Good event. I don't know if I'm gonna blog next year because I don't want to blog. I, I just don't want to be known. I don't. I don't want to be known as that guy that's just gonna carry the camera around all weekend, well, shoving vlog, it in people's, shoving well, it in people's faces. Doesn't have to be them, you know, taking you're, it. But you know, you're just right. the, let's get the Ronnie experience. Let's you're right. What, which I I mix in. I mix that maybe, in there. With maybe too. four seconds of the meatball sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do. Mi- I I mix in. Every a little bit of everything in the vlog too, so I don't know. May, maybe I'll vlog, but I I don't I know. Don't, should have interviewed that TSA agent that was patting you down. <laughs> like that should have been part of it. I don't even know if I could like have my camera out it <laughs> in the airport like that. There's one way to find out. Just, <laughs> oh, I would have never got on that plane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that they were looking at my bag. I'm surprised they didn't like turn on my camera to see what's on the camera. <laughs> It'd be funny if you went back later on and they were like, "This is for Ronnie's vlog." <laughs> 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 We're patting him down at the airport. <laughs> but anyway, other than the uh, the kick streamer drama, have you heard about the Grand Theft Auto roleplay drama? Yeah, so that I have heard of. I've okay. Uh, so I've, been you know followed, about that? I've been followed like an incredibly closely. But so let me just from my I'm gonna do in layman's term what I understand. All right, okay. and you can correct me. Okay. Uh, Grand Theft Auto roleplay. I've seen it here and there over the couple of years. I know it's massively huge and whatever. No pixel, so yeah. somebody, somebody named Moon Moon, Moon Moon, yes, had a fictitious relationship with a female streamer that I don't know, but who was married. They're both married. Uh, Diva Jilly, yes. Diva Chili. Diva, I, I think it's Diva Jilly. I think that's how you say her. Name. I don't know her name. I, I, um, I, I but I know I her husband <laughs> or something like that. Like was the one that like started this like uprising because he found out that it was more than just role play. Mm-hmm. And apparently it was like the entire fictional courthouse or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that the truth? I, I've seen a lot of things, did slowly, you, but basically did, did you whoever... read the, did you read the leaked discord messages? Uh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna, I was thinking about reading that on the bottom. I was like, uh, maybe I shouldn't read yeah, their messages. They were, they were pretty tame. <laughs> they were pretty, yeah, pretty tame. If, if you want to call that tame, sure. Yeah. Well, you know, it was just all for role play. They were just had to get in. Oh character. yeah, it was, just, it was just role play. You're right. <laughs> but yeah. I think, I think what what the shocker is is just that everyone was already married to other people, right? And then Moon yeah. Moon, whoever he is, I don't really know, but apparently he's like uh, someone who's very very popular streamer and like yeah, uh, very but he's very family but, friendly yeah. or no? I've never watched Moon Moon stream. I'm yeah, not, I, I haven't either. But I I I know the name. I know he's very popular. I've just never watched. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, he, he thought, it, he I thought they he were. A, in, huh? He's got children though, doesn't he? Yes. See, that's he thought he thought that the two were in an open relationship. That's why he was. That's his excuse. Yeah, that's his well, I mean, excuse. Of course, that's his excuse. There's I mean, no I mean, other course, out. The woman, of course, the woman's gonna say that. Be like, yeah, I'm in an open yeah. relationship. She's gonna, she's gonna try to do what she yeah. can. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's there's no other out uh, other than saying that. So I, I get it. Yeah, uh, but still, yeah. I mean, he went live for like a couple minutes to address everything, but I, I don't he? I don't remember exactly what he said. But he he tried to address it. That's pretty much what he was saying. He's like, oh, it was an open relationship. Blah blah blah. And he ends the stream. 
<laughs> yep, and I'm not coming back for a while because probably. Yeah, I'll be I'll be back in a couple months. You know. <laughs> yeah. No, it is sad though. But I yeah. mean, you know, Grand Theft Auto is be breaking people's hearts. I guess. Uh, there was more people involved. From... Relationship RP. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, what were you saying? I think there's more people involved, but I don't think they've been disclosed or something like that. I don't Maybe know. like people were kind of like getting the hints that they were doing it, I guess, from the way they yeah. were role playing, which I can understand that too. Uh, because I I do remember I was I saw one clip of somebody saying like I could I I definitely saw this I could tell like I was telling my viewers I was like yeah I get I could see this really gonna happen yeah so, and it happened so <laughs> I don't know if they really already knew that but yeah that's crazy stuff crazy stuff yeah. And Haven't I, you been on that? Uh, didn't you play on the no pixel? No pixel. I had I had access to it, but I never got to play it because you never every, did. You know, because uh, every time I would try to get into it, the servers would take way too long. Cause I like I had I got into the server, but I didn't have high priority, so it would just uh, take for, it would it take forever for me to get in there. And I was like, nah, yeah, I, 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 does I'm it not... even give you like an estimation of time? Like, it, no, it gives you a time. But it, like, <laughs> you are 5,300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you, uh, I had access to it. Not anymore. I actually, uh, I messaged the guy, Coil. I was like, yeah, dude, I, uh, you gotta get rid of my Just machine. revoke my access. Yeah, yeah, I just can't re do revoke this. my access. I can't <laughs> yeah, do it I don't anymore. Want to be a part of this <laughs> yeah. anymore. And he messaged me, he messaged me back. He was like, all good, mate. I was like, cool, because he's Australian. He was like, all good, mate. <laughs> That's cool. But yeah, uh, that that was uh, that was TwitchCon weekend. That's really all the stories I have. Uh, I mean, I'm wearing a shirt that I got from TwitchCon. I got this uh, from the Offline TV booth. Uh, oh, it's like a little, it's like a little Offline TV robot, little Offline TV character, and I uh, I got a little plushie. Oh, like little, cool! A little, a little Offline TV plushie. <laughs> yeah, maybe you know we should probably talk about your drip. As you yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. You were all uh, dripped I did, I, out. I as, did. Uh, <laughs> So I, I didn't really, I've never really seen that side of you. So you've got a lot of, um, you've got, what, you mean what, this? tell me about those <laughs> pants. Which ones? I have never seen pants like that in my life. But the the first which night? ones? Whatever first ones night? look, I so don't know what they are. So they're, they're made by a, a company called Guapi. Uh, they're, they're like, so were they put into a lawnmower? <laughs> I, I, if you want to say that, it's just like, it's, it's like the, it's like very, they're like stylish designer. Type jeans, I guess you not designer, but you know, not like huge designer, but designer. Uh, they look type cool. jeans, yeah. Um, I mean, that's why I got them there. I mean, they look cool. you were out I mean, there, you were on that vlog flexing on all of us. I was, <laughs> I felt very uh, poor. No, no, when no, you no, started talking. <laughs> listen, listen, when I go on vacation, I go all out, but I, I don't dress like that all the time. You hit it, <laughs> you showed me, you showed the Rolex, the Oh, it's a Bugatti in the driveway. Gu Gu Gucci watch, man. Get her. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a bragger like that though. But I mean, no, I, 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 I did it for the blog. But um, no, I thought, I thought it was actually pretty cool. Thank you. Um, but yeah, uh, I like to, I like to spoil myself every once in a while with a uh, nice chain. I think they nice call watch. it ice. I think ice. people call it ice sometimes. I'm, I'm wearing the same chain right now. The uh, Alexander McQueen chain. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, it's you like mentioned a... him a few times. Who's that? Is that Lightning's brother? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, it's like it's like this is like a little like a bullet, I guess. It's like a bullet. You sure? Sure. <laughs> That's what I call it. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I I, I, try, I try to look nice. I was wearing like Nordstrom shirts and stuff. <laughs> I was wearing oh, yeah. the I was wearing the exclusive Nate Shot Adidas. <laughs> I try. Yeah. I try. It's... It was a good. It was a good overall time, man over time i can't wait for did you do week. any uh sightseeing outside of twitch like or did you like did no, you I, I i i just kind of stayed around the uh gas lamp area because I, I i don't like spending money on uber yeah and every everything else was everything's walking distance in that area like gas lamp you could literally do anything they got restaurants bars uh they got yeah. stores they got clubs i mean you could do everything walking distance so that's why I kind of like stayed in that area. That's why, like, when they went to like that mansion party, I was like, "Nah, you guys go ahead. I'm not paying for an Uber." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could have had one wild night, though. Yeah, but I also had to wake up the next morning. <laughs> I had priorities, man. <laughs> That's great. But yeah, great, great overall weekend. Can't wait to do it again next year. Um, yeah, I try, I try to travel to the west as much as I can. I like it out there. Yeah. I don't know. I, I imagine like someday I'd like to see it all, you know, but I don't I don't know. 
Unless I ever fully go like Twitch hardcore, like I don't, I don't see if I, I don't know if I could justify it, you know? Because mm-hmm. I'm not really like I like people. I watch a lot of people on the internet, but I'm not as I'm not like into fandom too much. I have a right, hard right, time. Right. I think because it would make me feel uncomfortable if people were like, "I love you and worship you," or whatever. like I. So I just don't even like. Like when they asked me on the "What do you mean by that?" podcast, like who I dream guest would be. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't want to put anyone in that position where right, they right, have right. to. They have to like be a guest. Like I, don't, I get I don't it. I don't know. I get it, but that's when they were like, they were also saying like, "Oh, we know Ronnie's dream guest because that kind of like mentioned." <laughs> I was talking and I was like, "Yeah, uh, I was talking to Ray and she was talking about winning to go on the podcast and stuff like that." <laughs> so that's why they were saying all that. I, th- I think what it is, it's not about like. It's like such an opportunity, right? That yeah, yeah. Get, right. Mm-hmm. So it's just like if you have the guest, and what if it's just not as fluid as you had hoped? You know. Yeah. Then your dream guest becomes your worst nightmare. Like it just, I've ruined that. N- ne- never meet your heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just like that. that. Yeah. You ruin that door, that pathway. Right. No, I. I or I, I, or I you don't that. ruin it. It just yeah. feels like it, it. But you're always like doubting yourself. So I don't know. Like, yeah, I, it, I, I, I mean, I could see myself getting nervous with certain people. Absolutely, like trying to well, like. I'm more worried about being rude. <laughs> you never just, rude. Like, I don't know the things that like I, <laughs> I, I like making people feel uncomfortable. You know, I get it. But no, not that, everybody, that's, that's not everybody, but not everyone gets that, especially if it's someone who's not mm-hmm. familiar with me. I so, get like, it. It's, if I start <laughs> saying, "Hey, please don't say the N word again." <laughs> you know some people be like huh i didn't say that you know yeah <laughs> yeah no i i, I hundred percent get that uh, but i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens in the future for our pod we'll see we'll see who we get on <laughs> yeah it's fun um but man but yeah. you know i'm really craving a freaking meatball sandwich man <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry now I've yeah I mean, it, it does sound good i'm not gonna lie but i mean other than my weekend how you been like uh, like Besides your mom's birthday and everything, like how how oh, how's everything going? You know, it's okay. Everything's fine. Um, just working. I started. You know, I told you I've been playing Fortnite. You know, you know yeah. a little bit here and there through the that's day. I saw. Uh, I did. I bought Miss Incredible. Oh, you did? Is that I, okay? I didn't even know that was happening right now. Yeah, I, I bought Miss Incredible and I bought the Bye 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 emote. Okay, we do. We have <laughs> Bye 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 emote as well. Oh, we can do it together. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, have, I play on Raquel's account, but uh, oh, nice. But so I was playing and I, having a lot of fun. I was like, you know what? We, we finished the battle pass, which was mm-hmm. nice. Oh, cool. Nice. And so I was like, I'm going to try ranked out and see how that goes. I destroy not on ranked. I was about to say. But now I've, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, ranked, ranked is a whole nother level. Like I was doing I'm like it just... gold. I'm like gold too, I think. You're, you're further than me. I, uh, I was doing it for the challenges and for, you know, just trying to get like XP for my battle pass. That's yeah. why I was doing it. But, like, <laughs> other than that, I can never, I can't do ranked unless I'm playing with people. Well, I was just like, I guess it was just a lot of fun when I'm fighting toddlers. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I didn't realize that I was going to actually have to, like, try in the ranked versions. And it's really, it's really humbling. So I haven't played in, like, a week. Man, but... you, you didn't know that you were going against, like, Ninja and Nick A30 and such nah. PK all them people. You didn't know that? <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's weird. Like, with Fortnite, it's interesting because it's like, it tells you how many people are playing in each playlist. And yeah. like, there's tons on everywhere. Yeah. But, like the ranked doesn't have that many people. I thought ranked was like a more popular thing. I feel like oh, it God. does when they start to do like their tournament season. Yeah. I, I you like think they... you think we'll ever be good enough gamers to be good at a game? Is that the goal anymore? I can't even beat a dating sim, so I couldn't tell you. I, dude, I did, Colonel, I did that Colonel Sanders one, and I had the worst time of my life. Uh, <laughs> I I played it. I played a dating sim once, uh, and I got rejected by every. Actually, every dating sim I ever play, I get rejected by every single. Oh, Ronnie! Oh, Ronnie! And you know what's funny? Hold on. You know what's funny is, I'm friends. Uh, so I made friends with one of the creators of one of the games that I played recently. He's in my chat all the time. His name's Tokyo. He wants to be a guest on our pod once sometime. Uh, oh, I've seen his name. I've yeah. seen him. He, uh, he, he, he made that game. Like, uh, he, you play as him. Like, he's the guy that has, like, the GoPro attached to him. Oh, cool. Yeah, and uh, he had two of the girls from the game follow me on Twitch. They would, like, watch every once in a while. That's awesome. 
<laughs> it's awesome. It's, it's like, awesome. Every, shame, every, shame they can't just love you for who you are in, in video games. Oh, I no. call them out all the, all the time. I'm like, hey, you, you know you guys rejected me in the game. Re remember that? <laughs> That's great. But now they're uh, super cool people. Um, uh, they should I'll do esports for dating sims. That would be interesting. That'd be fun. First That'd be to cool. get to third base. <laughs> I think I think one of my first popular like streams was Super Seducer. And I used to Super, Super Seducer. Seducer. You ever play Super Seducer? No, I, don't. I may have watched you play it. <laughs> yeah, that was one, it, probably that was one of my first popular like dreams. <laughs> yeah, I probably. Never... Yeah, well, I think I've seen. What's the VR one that you did? The dating one. I liked that one. When you took a girl on a VR date. Oh, that was, uh... that was a fun. That was a fun yeah. stream. I don't remember the name of that game. I yeah, got to. Get... I watched you, you know, in action. And I got to see your <laughs> tactics. <and> just how. <laughs> How bad I was at darts and everything. Yeah, I mean, you were terrible at every aspect of the game, but I, I somehow to, I, she still I, wanted to be around. I had to let her win. <laughs> I got to yeah, be a nice yeah, guy and let her excuse. win, you know? What is it? So, Ronnie, what's an I If you if if you went to yeah. TwitchCon and you, yeah. you picked up a, a, a lady friend, she's okay. from Delaware, where are you taking her? <laughs> Wait. What are you going to do? She's at TwitchCon, but, and she's from Delaware? <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, it's just it's so... Or I'm beautiful. taking her from Delaware to TwitchCon. I'm or talking I meet, about where I you her, go. I meet her at TwitchCon and just happens to be yes. in Delaware. You guys happen to live. You guys live two blocks from each other. Now you're back in Delaware, and you're gonna now you're gonna meet up. Where are you taking her on a date? You don't have to De name a specific place. <laughs> in Delaware, a general place. Yeah. I want to wow. know what the true Ronnie tech is because you know you don't realize this, but there's probably a lot of young single men out there living vicariously through you. You know, you're meeting all these celebrities. You're. You take him to expos. <laughs> yeah, let's go to, yeah, we'll go. We'll go to expos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just like a there you go. Dave and Buster's, but right, like, smaller. <laughs> Wait, well, way smaller. Way smaller. Yeah, beyond like, smaller. No, they uh, it's I, like I don't Dave know. and Buster's. If like the owners of Family Dollar made it, <laughs> I probably I'd probably do like dinner, maybe movie. And you know, I'm old school. Dinner, movie. Maybe we'll go to like main event or something. I don't know if you know what main event is. Yeah, yeah, they, they have, they have right main event. Uh, I don't know. I'm a simple old school type of guy. <laughs> yeah, that's why you get rejected, Ronnie. You should be, you should do fireworks. You should, you know, you should be going I, to the beach. I, I, I can't keep up with the times, man. I'm an unk no. now, apparently. Yeah, well, hey. <laughs> I think unk is, I didn't know that it was a bad thing. I thought unk was a positive thing. I, I'll take it as a positive thing. Why not? I, In my eyes, you're the best unk around. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm technically. I mean, I'm. I really am gonna be an uncle soon. So it's like, aren't you? You're not already an uncle. My you're not. So, you're not unked up right now. You're you're uncleless. My my sister's getting married in November. The guy that she's marrying has a kid, so they're so technically so you're yeah, you're gonna be an uncle by proxy. You're gonna be sure, like, by marriage. <laughs> uncle by marriage. <laughs> my uncle in law. I've never uncle heard. Uncle in law. That. There you go. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's he, nice. He, he calls. Uh, the kid already calls me like uh the kid. <laughs> he calls me like my bad. <laughs> he calls <Dang>. me. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. His name's Matthew. Uh, it's my is my uh my little new nephew. Uh, <laughs> he call he calls me Uncle Ronnie. It's cool. Good. I it's love cool. that. Yeah. You seem like you'd be a good uncle. I try. I I feel like I'd be a good. And I I said this on our first episode. I I I feel like I'd be a good dad too. Uh, I just. Not right now. Yeah, you would. Be. <laughs> no, you should. Time is ticking, though, Ronnie. You're right. You're right. I'm we got to get you. Yeah. We got to figure it out soon. I, I hear. I hear you could buy children. You could. You can adopt. There's a lot you're, you could. You're do. right. You're right. You're true. But, yeah. Maybe I'll just adopt the cat. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I, I. I don't want to press boundaries, but maybe the dog that you claim is yours, you can let live with you someday. <laughs> it's it's still my dog if it counts as family dog he's my okay. i lived with the dog before i moved out he's still my dog it's family dog <laughs> I, I i just usually when something i was, you own, I was there you. i was the first person he met of the family yeah he uh we got we picked him up at a park and he uh he came right to me i was the first person he met oh like he was like he was like a stray he was a poster so oh, he came okay. he came from he came from north carolina Somebody dropped him off in the middle of the street, North Carolina. Mm. And then he, he kind of got fostered. He ended up in 
Jersey. He ended up in Jersey. And then I want to say Maryland. He went to Maryland, and now he's oh, he's got he's lived in a lot yeah. of places. Yes, yeah, and, and now he's and now he's with uh, my parents. Yep, that's amazing. Yeah. We last last year, last winter, we took in a dog for a night, and it was a nightmare. There was a because uh, there was like a freeze here in Texas, which doesn't happen very often. Uh-huh. Well, these past few years, it happens a lot, but I guess that's the global warming. I don't know, mm. but um. We took in a dog. Her name was Daisy because the oh, cool. shelter was going to be so cold. And yeah. so they're like, can people, someone just take the dog in for the night? And we we're like, oh, we'll do it. It was just the worst idea we've ever had. It was like a, it was like a German Shepherd mix, I think. And she was so rambunctious. She attacked my dog. No. Uh, there was a cat oh. involved. Like There was blood. They were oh, fighting. No. In the, it was everywhere. So we're like, okay, this is a nightmare. And so we had to let let her outside for like a little bit, and she just like wouldn't stop harassing every darn neighbor. Anyway, so I don't like dogs that much anymore. I just oh, no, like I just like I'm my sorry, dog. Man, that, that sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but, so so you're not a dog person. What kind of animal person? I mean, I am a dog person, but okay. I'm just more of a my dog person. And, and yeah, I don't yeah. Want to, I just don't think it's a good like adult dogs bringing them home. It, you just never know what you're going to get. I get it. I get it. I think Buddy was three when we got him. I think he was three years old. How old is he now? Seven, I think. But maybe, nice. maybe, maybe a little older. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't know. It's always sad to think about dogs and, and how much time they have left. Yeah. Like I I don't know what we're going to do. My dog is a large boy. I don't know what's going to happen if he passes away. Do I have to like do I bury it? What do you do when your animal dies? What what I don't know. You're supposed to mate them, but people still bury their dog. I just can't. I think, I'm just imagining I, I think, the day. I think it, I, just... I think it's I think I think it's illegal to bury your dogs now. Is it really? I I from what I heard, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on where you live. can't imagine going to jail for that. No. What are you yet. in for? I mean. Buried people, Sparky. I guess they assume people are trying to make their own pet cemetery. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I. Frank and Weenie. I, I know there's something to it, but I, I think you still can. I just, I just think there's a way probably around. Probably if you it. own property. They yeah. probably don't want you like. Yeah. Burying out in someone else's <laughs> area. Right. Mm-hmm. We should make dog cemeteries. That should be a thing. I agree. I agree. Probably but, is a thing. But then I, but I, then I probably assume that there probably is somebody that's gonna try to yeah their own little pet cemetery and yeah grave robbers the movie. yeah <laughs> Indian burial grounds. That's what it was, right? Like an Indian burial ground or something like that. And yeah, okay, back to life. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I mean, wouldn't it be the most amazing haunted area if it was just haunted by a bunch of little puppies? For real, though. <laughs> like a bunch of dog ghosts. That right? would be so great. It would be awesome. That'd be all. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. I'd be there every night. <laughs> you ever own a cat? I've never owned a cat. No, I want a cat. I've never owned a cat. You seem like you would do good with a cat. I think you would. You look like a cat guy. What I like about cats is they take care of themselves, too. You don't like, I mean, dogs, they kind of like depend on you, like. Yeah. For like everything, cats they kind of just do their own. I mean, you, you still got to you still got to feed them. that. You still got to feed them, and you got to like change out their litter and stuff. But I mean, they pretty much do whatever they want and just chill. Yeah, it starts with one. Then, then, then uh, we had a cat one time. It was we named her Opal. She was a nice little girl, okay. but she just seems as soon as we brought her home, she just like had no, she did not want anything to do with us. So she just hung out in the bathroom behind the toilet, and it was just. Every day, she wouldn't interact with us. So we're like, I know what's wrong. She's lonely. We'll get another cat. <laughs> don't do that. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> then you just have two cats that don't like you. <laughs> and one of them gets worms, and it's just it is bad. Uh, but to be honest, with my full-time job, I feel like it'd be kind of hard to have a pet anyway. Because I feel like I'd never be there for it. Because I'm working. The amount of hours I work yeah. is crazy. I can go anywhere from like, Eight to twelve to sixteen hours a day. So, yeah. Like, uh, like I, I don't want to feel like I'm neglecting my pet. Well, with a cat, I think you'd be. Yeah. That, I that's why I say at least they, at least they take care of themselves. You know. 
I have a fish, and he sucks. I hate I, him. I, I I used to have fish. I I used to have pet fish. I I named. I had yeah, I had Goldie. I had another Goldie. I had a third Goldie. I had. Uh, I had magic. <laughs> that is that their names? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had magic. I I named the fish Magic Carp. <laughs> so it was Goldie, 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 and Magic Carp. Yeah. <laughs> All great fish, though. I, I loved I loved my fish. And, yeah, uh, we we have one. Yeah, I I kind of inherited him from my sister when she lived with us, and uh, mm. he's just. You know, he just does his thing. I do mine. Do thing. We, we don't talk to each other that often, but he. You ever, you ever make eye contact? Oh yeah, all the time. Okay, yeah. it's awkward. <laughs> it's at, least, awkward. at least you make eye contact. <laughs> yeah. I think we both have a, we have a mutual respect, but we don't want to get in each other's business. Does, think... does he ever look at you and he's just like, "Feed me now"? <laughs> I, I swear, I, I've never seen him meet. Like, I don't really? know. Really? I don't know how he's alive. We, <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten to feed him multiple times. Do, do, do you feed him the flakes or like the little uh, the little dot thing? Flakes, and I also drop an algae pod thing in, so he okay. can enjoy. He can enjoy the. Oh, so he's that. an algae fish. Yeah, something like okay. that. Okay, okay. I had an he's al- the, algae he's like, fish. He's too. a plex, a plexa thing. I, I get. I get he he sucks to the glass. Oh yeah. Yeah. And okay. Boy does he. Boy I, does I, he. I had one of those too. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's a good little guy though. Nice, dude. I I've had. So I've had fish. I've had crab. I had a, I had a pet crab, um, like a minute little miniature pet crab, not like a hermit crab, but like an actual like little crab. Uh, I mean, I've had, I've had, I've had hermit crabs too, though. So I've had hermit crabs. I've, I've had a regular crab. I had fish. I had. Why birds. don't we eat hermit crabs? I I don't think I'd want to. I know, but why don't we? I feel like there's a delicacy for everything. Why aren't we stopping may- at hermit may- crabs? Maybe maybe if I'm on an island by myself and I'm like Tom Hanks, maybe I would. I don't know, but <laughs> there's got to be a reason because we eat crawfish, and that is the most true thing in the world to eat. They're literally the cockroach of the sea. Yeah, so I just I'm surprised that we don't touch hermit crabs. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's people that do. And do people eat horseshoe crabs? They don't do that, right? I've never seen that happen. I'm but, I'm, like, but I'm sure there is people that eat. I dude, I go on the internet. And I would see the most random mukbangs or mukbangs, whatever you want to call it, of Today the most we're weird an entire <laughs> of the most weirdest foods, dude. Like I'll I'll see like people like grab a whole thing of tarantulas and then like freeze them and then cook yeah. them and I'm like that or it'd be like the most random bugs. I'm like, hey, if if that's what you enjoy, you enjoy it. That's just personally the only not for time me. bugs look appetizing is on the Lion King. I, yes, yeah. I've never craved a a, a slug more. No. Than, than when Timon and Pumbaa are, are wolfing that thing down. <laughs> Slimy but satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't see myself eating it. Even if it's chocolate flavored, I couldn't. No. No, I'm not. I'm not eating. Isn't a chocolate there? A, flavored, there's but... an alcohol, isn't there? That they put like a worm. A worm. In or something? Uh, there's an yeah. alcohol with a worm in it. I don't remember what it's called, but there it's is tequila, one of those. Tequila, I think. It's it is a tequila. I've never had it. I don't. I'm not really a tequila person. Uh. So yeah, I've never had that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not eating a bug or any type of exotic animals. <laughs> really? One time when I was younger, my dad one time he woke up in the middle of the night. I remember watching him. There was like a plate left out of barbecue chicken. Uh huh. And we were at a lake lot, so it was like just really, it's like living outdoors pretty much. Right. It was covered in ants, and he woke up in the middle of the night and he just started eating this. And I just remember watching ants fly all over his face, and he had no idea while he was eating it. <laughs> yeah, you you just let it happen. You just let him. No, eat no, it. no. I tried to intervene. Oh, oh, okay. I tried. Okay. He, was just, he was. I guess that chicken was just delicious. I. Uh, wow. I mean, it's protein, but wow. Okay. Yeah, but I, I don't mean, think it, I'm against. I'm not against eating. No, bugs. I'm. I'm not against it either. Because I mean, like, it is protein. Don't be a if, bigot, Ronnie. No, no. If if that look, I'm a. I'm, if it's your thing. I let, let, let no, people eat. I I let people enjoy things. I'm the type of guy. If if that's what you enjoy, go for it. I respect it. I support it. If that's what you enjoy. And it's illegal if it's not illegal. If it's legal, <laughs> if it's illegal and it, if you want to in, inject it in it, your arm, I was trying, I was trying, I was no trying to problem. say, I was trying to say, if it's not illegal and you can do it without any type of legal issues, go for it. It's fine. Do your thing. I respect it. So I'll you're cool it. with you're cool with galaxy gas then. Sure. <laughs> yeah, because it's legal apparently. Have you seen all that going on? Have you seen those trends? Those, I've um, heard about. I've heard about it, but I haven't looked it's into like, it. 
It's like uh, marketed as it's stuff that's supposed to make your whipped cream more fluffy. Oh. I guess that's like what the intended use is for it, mm, but yeah, it's just kind of like a uh, a gateway for like getting high. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, <laughs> and apparently, like the owner of it too, like owns a smoke shop and everything. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, if you've seen any videos of that online, just know. I that I, I, I know I am now because you mentioned this, and now it's gonna be everywhere. <laughs> it is. It's every. I can't <laughs> yeah. look away. It's everywhere. All right. Speaking of. Speaking of videos, we talked recently on our podcast with Emily about our TikTok for you pages. What would you say your for you page is now? If you were going on TikTok, what, what, oh. what would your for your page be filled of? Honestly, so I think I, I've mentioned this before, but I collect people. Like I uh -huh. like finding anybody that is um, trying to like make it, but obviously like there's just so far away from. <laughs> like I have a lot of people who want to be singers. Yeah. It's like watching American Idol, uh, <laughs> just like the first few episodes, and I love them. I genuinely right. take like I look at them as like my children because I keep up with a lot of different oh, that's people. Cool. Cool. Uh, there's this one guy that's been asking for two hundred dollars every day for like probably three or four months. I keep wow. up with him, <laughs> and it's always a new excuse, and it's really funny. Wow. But he's serious, and he's gotten some people sending him money before. <laughs> so I'd probably, it'd probably be some oddball uh, asking probably for money or someone to go follow their music. Gotcha. What I, uh, about you? What do you? I was getting the Dark Fantasy ones for a while, and then it stopped. I was, oh, I'm, I'm kind of sad I'd because like the, the Dark Fantasy ones were really cool. I'm like, oh, I get to see what, what they're doing next. I was like, okay, I'm getting Pokemon. Okay, now I'm getting Shrek. Yeah. Now, I'm getting, now I'm getting Dexter's Lab. Like, oh, this is all cool. <laughs> yeah, but those I'm, are cool. I'm, and that, that music that goes with it really brings yeah. That that's what makes it like awesome too is like music. Like yeah. cool, I kind of I kind of want I kind of want to do it to myself. See if it's I, like I what AI. It's it. like what you want AI to do all the time. Yeah. Oh my but. god, dude. Have you ever have you seen the the AI thing where people are like going on? It's like fake phone calls where you call up an AI. And you can talk no. to AI. I made one of myself. Oh really? Can you, you can't... show it to us? Can I? I mean, uh, if I so do, wait, I kinda... it's like a fake version of you. It's yeah, but it's my voice. That's creepy. I kind of want to send it to you and have you like ask questions. <laughs> I'd be afraid. I don't want to know what I think. <laughs> like you could literally ask it anything, <laughs> and it all starts talking about it. Like it Does, was. Don't you have to train those types of things, or is it like, like you got you gotta like you gotta like write a little bio about yourself? So I okay. I, did, I mentioned I did mention you. Oh God! I said that we have a podcast together. <laughs> I mentioned a few other people. So that way, like, if you guys do it, then if you guys start, like, asking questions about yourself, it'll start answering, you know what I mean? I wanted to, yeah. I wanted to make it entertaining, but, uh, yeah, I was doing it on my stream the other day, and crazy. It's like, yeah, I, I was at the beginning of your stream. I was watching uh, you going over the vlog. I didn't say anything, but I was there okay. for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I, didn't, I did see after the after your stream you're like that was wild i'm guessing that's what you're referring to yeah yeah I, was, I, was talk <laughs> I, I talked to an ai version of myself and i talked to an ai version about you should set up your ai version of you with the ai with version, the AI version of Valkyrie. Right? Hey. see how that goes <laughs> has that ha have they done that yet where you can just force people to have conversations you should see like i don't, I don't know that'd be kind of cool you can see how conversations will out will play out yeah yeah, and like I, a I, I've seen I've seen people do like phone calls where they'd call like a uh, like a pizza shop and they'll have like some AI call the pizza shop. I don't mm -hmm. know how they do that, but I've seen the non AI versions of those when they they call two Chinese restaurants and they put oh their that phones too. Yeah. <laughs> those are those are classic. They're like, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> He's like, no, you called me. What do you want? And stuck and <laughs> oh man. But no, dude, we got to do an episode once where you're just talking to my AI. My AI. That'll be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully we can get it like to like a camera as well. We could just do like a, a you just moving your mouth up and down. <laughs> yeah. And then like we'll just do a whole podcast with just all right. That's what we should do. We don't even need to do this together anymore. You got to show me how you did it that one time with Dana, how you were able to set that up. How you, how you set your eye up. I, I am like I said, I do everything the most janky way possible. All I but did was still, I just it was had, cool. I had to click every time my mouth went up and down. I mean, I can do that. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it, 
You gotta show me how you did that. You gotta, you gotta teach me the way. Yeah, I just took it in Microsoft Paint, and then I just <laughs> moved my mouth down once, and then I put both of them into OBS, and I clicked back and forth between them. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's all I did. Well, I put it on a hot key, and then okay. I would just press the hot key, and it would make my mouth look like it's going up and down. Good to know. Good to know. I'm yeah. gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna try that out. <laughs> yeah. You could probably That's sound cool. activate it. Like, there's certain like decibel waves that you can do where every time you speak, it'll probably activate that thing. Mm -hmm. But. I don't know. I'm not very technical. Everything like you'd be surprised at how unorganized everything I have is. Like almost everything's on one scene on OBS. <laughs> everything that I have. <laughs> oh really? I yeah, got I got a, I got I got a crazy amount of scenes. I got look, I got I got one for the podcast. I got day start, night starting, night ending, intro, BRB, oh, full yeah. cam. <laughs> I got it all. <laughs> like I, I'm like having to like click like one of my streams, like if uh -huh. I have to like be the producer pretty much for I everything. Mean, I I kind of updated my resume. I kind of added like my skills of like going OBS and everything to it. Yeah, so, you know, I never even realized that. If, yeah. any, if anything ever happens in the future, like I I put my skills as knowing OBS, you know, and streaming and all that good stuff. Like I I know what to do. They are skills. I, yeah, 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 there are skills. Yeah. I put that, you know, I do voiceover work, technically, and I in a way. See that you've been doing. Uh, you have made a little tickety talk too. I see. I've been, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get back on the TikTok grind. I want. Yeah. I want to uh, content grind in general, uh, because I just, I don't know. I yeah. just want to. I go in spurts. Like, yeah, I, I I want to, but it's just like, I, I, I every advice you ever get, it's like it's like if you're gonna do this, you know, you got to be consistent. You know, yeah. it's just like. I know that I'm not at a place where I'm going to be consistent. So I'll just, I don't want to do one and then be two months and then do another. Yeah. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay con consistent with it. Like I'm going to try to at least get one TikTok from every single one of our uh, episodes. Uh, I'll probably get like a TikTok from uh, when we were on the, what do you mean by that podcast? Uh, different stream ones. Cause uh, I'm also doing a challenge this month. Yeah, uh, you should talk about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, Spooky Dubtober. We should have started off. Oh, dang it, we should have started <laughs> the pod off talking about that. Spooky Dubtober. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. Spooky Dubtober. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to stream. Gotta be a better, there's got to be a better say. Listen, man. Listen, man. If you can think of something better, you can help. But, uh. <laughs> EJ <laughs> Dub Scream. Oh, my God. That would be cool. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. Let's just say there's not a name for it. I'm just streaming every day of October. Um, today counted. If you text, uh, I did. If you guys are watching this, I did stream on the first of October. Technically, I was on the What Do You Mean by That podcast. I was still live on Twitch. It yes. just wasn't on my OBS, so that counts. Yes, uh, so I'm, I'm, yes. I'm already starting. <laughs> but uh, every day of the every day of the month, I'm going to be streaming a horror, scary, thriller, indie horror type game uh i think i'm gonna start with that frank stone game that's within the dvd world if you guys ever heard of that it's like a story game but it's the casting of frank the casting of frank that. of frank stone or something like that it's set in the world of dead by daylight so i think i'm gonna start with that. that i'm gonna start with that game and then until until dawn the remaster comes out so i might play until dawn after that one and then they're coming out with a quiet place game i want to play that too oh really so, yeah so i want to I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to figure out what games i want to do now uh because they also released a zoo game where it's like zoo animals turn into like crazy creatures you gotta like hear them so i yeah. want to play that too i want to play that too i got i got stuff in mind but we'll see how it happens because i yeah, also gotta I, I, I also gotta figure out what day i'm gonna do my cosplay stream you should just you shouldn't be doing it every day i thought about doing it every day but i don't want my costumes yeah <laughs> <laughs> I know that uh, I've mentioned it, and you, you've probably seen me play it, but I swear to you, Fatal Frame is a game that's scary. Oh, that's right, Fatal Frame, yeah. It I, is beyond, and, like, it's you can get it easily. I could show you how to do it. Okay. Um, I saw that on Steam. I, I'm not joking. It is, like, genuinely... I, I watched you play it a little bit. I'm gonna, uh... That, that is I on literally my... was, like, scared at night. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was, it, like... It's on my list. It, it's on my list. I, I added that as well. Thank uh, you for I'll reminding be... me. Yeah. I'll be tuning in awesome. when I can. Awesome. Yeah. So that's my plan for the whole month. I'm gonna literally stream from the first to the thirty first. So Halloween night. Ooh. Halloween night. That's the well, 
So my cosplay stream is going to take a break from egg and cars. And I, th I think I'm going to I think I'm going to do my cosplay stream this Saturday before Halloween just so I can do a longer Halloween type stream. Because yeah. on Halloween, I like to actually like be like a neighbor and give out candy and do yeah. all that good stuff. You should plus, stream that. Well, plus plus it's on a Thursday. You know what I mean? So it's like I got work the yeah, next I morning. Even so know. I, I don't even know when Halloween is. It's on, it's on a know. It's, it's on a Thursday. Yeah. Um, Thursday. So. So obviously I'll work the next morning. So that's why I kind of want to do a longer cosplay stream. I'll still I'll still wear the cosplay on Halloween night for that for that stream, but I I just want to do a longer one. At so. what point is it going to be transition from a cosplay outfit to a Halloween costume? I guess you could technically say I don't Saturday, know. Saturday in the Halloween night. Okay. <laughs> Saturday Saturday is the cosplay. <laughs> right. I actually I already I already uh so I tried on the uh I tried on the uh cosplay and everything it fits great. Uh I made videos and I took pictures already, so I'll be posting those soon. I, I made can't a, wait. I, I made a TikTok of uh me and my cosplay. It looks good. Oh looks man. Good. <laughs> I'll be I'll make sure that I'm wearing some loose pants. And that, no and those for time. those of you for, that don't know, I'll be doing Wolverine. So oh, Wolverine. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> We gotta, uh, we gotta do a special podcast Halloween episode too. Yeah, I know. I, I we should. Yeah. How, how are we gonna do that with your streams? I'm gonna figure. No, that out. I'll, I'll still. I mean, I'll stream before the podcast. And like, and, yeah, and so, then we'll, uh, I yeah. need to get a costume on. Huh? Wear whatever yeah. you want, man. I think I'll be Wolverine. Okay. It'll okay. Be, we'll both be, be, a be, be a multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'll have to do a DIY, though. I don't know if I can afford an outfit right now. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, just go to a spirit Halloween, man. I'll just be the shirt. I'll be shirtless uh, Logan. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, you don't want to see none of that. <laughs> no, that's cool, though. Yeah, we're, we're, that'll be a good episode. Uh, we'll try to get a guest. If we have a guest, we got to make sure that person dresses up, too. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. <laughs> It's interesting. I don't know. But yeah, we uh we got some plans in the future for the podcast. Yeah, it's looking, only October it. just starting. Yeah. But literally it's, uh, the day that we're recording it is October first. The day that you guys are seeing this is October second. Yeah, so, this this would be yeah. really streamlined. <laughs> this is from How long does it take to upload these things? Uh actually and then plus you gotta edit out now you're gonna edit it, right? You gotta do a lot of editing. To be honest, I I don't think I really have. To. I mean, oh, we didn't. I'm, we, I'm gonna start cussing. All right, say something controversial. I edit it out. <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't put no, that pressure on me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, no. Um, it, editing editing doesn't take that long. As long like I like as we're doing a podcast, I try to think of like re remember spots. Okay, let me take that out or something like it. Like if we have dead air or something. But we never yep. do. We're, we're professionals, guys. We know I, what we're doing. I like the. I like how we do it. I'm proud yeah. of it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good. Yeah, I actually have to make it a it. point to cut you off, or you have you cut me off. I think it flows better. <laughs> uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah, I'd rather yeah. I'd rather be cut offs and have conversations go through than there'd be like a quick little pause every right couple of <laughs> seconds, minute, second, minutes, yeah. seconds. Because yeah. then you just start talking over each other randomly, and it's just yeah. I don't know. No, I mean. I think I think we're doing pretty good, Flynn. I think we're uh, we're on episode oh, we're, eleven. We're, we're on episode eleven. We're, we're getting there. Got people DMing us to be on the pod, so we'll have a we'll have a podcast guest next week. We just don't know who. But uh, we'll we'll you, you guys will find out. Probably gonna be probably be someone very famous. <laughs> someone who just launched their very own uh, animation whatever studio. You've seen that? Not remember, animation, but um, so hi hi. I Remember when I say I updated my resume? Yeah, I might try. That. <laughs> I might try it. Add I might try list. it. I mean, because look, I mean, I've I've technically done voiceover work. I've voiced commercials, so I can. I have. I have the. I have the qualifications. Oh, I yeah. used to work on radio. Radio so. commercials. I mean, same not thing. that it's less important. Same thing. Right? Same thing. Can we? Is there? Is there like a catalog? Being able to go back and find that somewhere? Maybe. I'm sure it's in the iHeart catalog somewhere. You can probably oh. find me and Adam's old commercials. <laughs> nope. I'll try to. They probably still air them, to be honest. <laughs> nah, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, there, there's a time frame on it. There's always like, um, 
Do you get like royalties for that type of thing? How does that work? Me personally, me myself, I don't. Uh, right, but the ra- the radius probably not because it's a iHeartMedia like commercial itself, so it goes throughout every station. So technically, if you voice yeah. commercial, it's every the every station commercial. So yeah, probably not. <laughs> I just look forward you know, to the day I'm I'm riding down the street and I hear, "Yo, this is DJ Dub C." <laughs> oh man, dude! I used to I used to do like the University of Delaware halftime shows and stuff. Oh no way! Yeah, I used to uh, I used to like say the scores of like different college games and high school games. I used to do like Smyrna Eagles games on the air. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I used to. Uh, I did more, high school. More Ronnie lore. I, I did high school football and basketball. I did college football and basketball. I did NASCAR. Yeah. Hey, this is the, <laughs> yeah. That resume is being built right now. That's what I'm saying. So, like, I, I mean, I have the qualifications, so. Just, say, just saying hi, hi, if you guys need somebody. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Goofy. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah. No, um. Anyway, I mean, fun. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? I don't. I'm, I'm capital G. Cool. That means good. Capital, got it. Got it. Good. Well, I guess. Should I try this hot sauce out? We'll end it. Oh yeah, I want to see. I want to see how that goes. Want to see? So Speedy's hot sauce uh, Will Neff edition. Uh, oh no no, huh? Do it again because this is going to be part that you're going to make a TikTok out of. Look us oh, in yeah. the eyes. Look us in the eyes and. Well, Neff, <laughs> I, am try- I am trying your gift that you gave me at TwitchCon right here, right now, live on my podcast. Not live, but, you, you know, you, you get it, you get it. The podcast uh, that you promised to listen to, by the, the way. The podcast that you promised to listen to, so you better be listening, Will, or you'll still be in my basement, man. <laughs> For people who haven't seen the vlog, we'll be really weirded out by that. But that. <laughs> <laughs> please, please check out the vlog if you guys haven't already. It's on YouTube, same place you can find the podcast. So if you're looking at this podcast, I'm pretty sure it's in the recommended. So just, uh, just uh, check it out. I gotta shake it. Okay, how should I do this? Clem, how do you do this? You do, like? Do well, it depends. So like, is it old school Flem style? Because I just raw dog it without a spoon. Go so like that. I would. I, I kind of do like the motion that no one really wants to do on camera. What do you mean? Uh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, that was the old way. But um, then I had to move to spoons because I ate a lot of hot sauce on accident. Well, that's the thing is like if I do this, what if it like a bunch of pours out? <laughs> it, that's happened to me. <laughs> so you so, don't want to do that. So do it you on the spoon. Do the spoon. I was getting ready. Okay, I was gonna ask Rick. Oh wait, no, we don't see it. It's not in the frame. There you go. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, now that's good. Oh, no, that I think that's good. That's a good. <laughs> that's embarrassing. A good. Listen, I'm not using. I don't. The last time I did this was when you gave me that hot sauce. Okay. Oh, really? All right. So, so does there? Is it marketed as any sort of Scoville unit, or do you know how hot this is going to be? I have no idea how hot this is going to be. All I'm right. just doing. Oh my. Uh, I, I, wait, I, I, gotta... I recommend tongue first. I always flip it and put it on the tongue first. Okay, I was going to say, let's flip it and do it. Okay. That way you get the full flavor. All right, we ready? All right, Will. Do it. It's probably just good. <laughs> no, it's a, um, it's it's coming. It's coming. It's good. It's really good. It's a uh, describe describe the flavors. What you got like in a, there? Like a very hot barbecue sauce. Oh, what an endorsement! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I don't know how to explain, it, but uh, very good, very good. Um. Dude, you'd be the best re- reviewer. Very, it's, it's very hot, good. Man. It's hot. Very man. good. It's hot. It's very, very good. It's on my tongue right now. Um, it's good. Very good. Uh, oh my god. I'm good. <laughs> it's it's good. It's just so good. I don't know how to review things, man. <laughs> what does it taste like? Maybe. Uh, Give me some flavor notes. It, it, it's like a very hot, like I said, very hot barbecue sauce. <laughs> very good all right well okay so mcdonald's barbecue sauce hot like like that like that flavor profile or wendy's better because a huge difference better better than them what else like sweet sweet baby rays sure <laughs> it's good though i uh, I'm, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna put this on, dude. This is good. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> no, that's oh, good. Oh man, that's great. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. good. Very good. Very good. It's, uh, it's not the bomb. I'll tell you that the bomb almost killed me. <laughs> I wish you did that more. The bomb? Yeah, you should have done that again. You should mix them. Are we just gonna have a uh, episode where we're doing hot sauce? I, I I'm pretty much retired. <laughs> I haven't done any in a while. I still feel. I still. I still taste it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you haven't. You hadn't had to run for water or anything, so it must not be miserable. It's not miserable. No, it's not. That's but um. So but is he in the hot sauce game now? What's this about? Why is he selling? Why is he slinging hot sauce? I don't know. It's just a gift. I didn't. I didn't. Know With his it. no, it's not a gift. His name is on it. His name. I. I he does have a website of it. So I don't know. Yeah. This must be the next big thing. Yeah, well, I have it. <laughs> I'm gonna. It's good. I'm definitely gonna put it on food, though. It's uh, it has a good taste to it. Good. <laughs> That's good to hear. I don't, I don't know how to review things, man. <laughs> it just cracks me up. It, it's like this. Uh, is it? There's this one guy on TikTok. This kid who he reviews fragrances. And he was smelling. Really? It. Yeah, and he was sniffing it. He was like, "It's good." It's good. <laughs> it's good. So you remind me of. It. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's real good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> None of them are bad. It's just good. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. But, cool. Uh, that's cool. Um. Yeah. So I mean, what else, Flam? What else you got? I mean, for me, I I downloaded some video games that I want to maybe play that Ghost of Tsushima game. Oh, nice. okay. I know what I, you're talking I, about. Kasami or something it was, like that. It was, it was free on uh, PlayStation if you have the PlayStation Plus thing. So I, nice. I I might sit down and try to play that game this week. I don't know. Very nice. It might be on my list. Um, DayZ. I, I know you Day-Z. know that I'm in the fan of DayZ. Summit, Summit 1G is also a fan yes. of DayZ. Yes, yes. Could have, you could have talked to him about that if you wanted to. True. They had they have a big update coming for uh, a certain game. They have a new DLC coming out, so that's big news. Very cool. Um, and um, but I don't really do much gaming too too much right now, but I'll get back into it at some point. Good. Maybe uh, maybe you can join us for uh, SCP. Uh, you know, Martin's, maybe I will. Martin's bringing it back. I could try that. I don't know. Awesome. Awesome. That'd be Let's good. See. Yeah, oh, yeah, be fun, and may- hopefully we can fall next to each other this time, <laughs> or at least find each other. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Well, well, I think uh, I think we pretty much covered the episode. Um, another one in the bag. Another one. Um, yeah. So, guys, this has been uh, episode eleven of the Lack There of Podcast. Um, next week we don't know who we're gonna have, but we are gonna have a guest. Maybe. Uh, I mean, I can't promise that it could be just us again. Who knows. But uh, but uh, we'll see everybody for episode twelve. Um, yeah, like their podcast, DJ Dove C, Flamoxicillin. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>